So I'm here with Zhao at the Minus Forum booth here at CES 2026. Now, Zhao, go ahead and tell us a little bit about the system here. This stands out to me because it's ARM-based, which is really cool. And she also mentioned that she's running some things in Docker, but I'll let her reveal that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this machine is uh, just uh, the same uh, same chassis as uh, our previous uh, generation of MS01, but it's t based on the ARM. So it's just based on the uh, 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 general UEFI and the ACPI standard. So you, it means you can just uh, install any OS you want. You just download a, a ISO a file, uh, just install it. Uh, it's not like a Raspberry Pi or just some other developer. Uh, you can just uh, you maybe. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't have to just use Debian. I can load up Kali Linux on here, yeah, Ubuntu, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but, but uh, currently uh, this is a very, very brand new chip. So maybe you just need uh, uh, some driver merge to the uh, next upstream to allow to a more general. Uh, but, but currently you can download any OS in this, this system just, uh, uh, just uh, without any uh, GPU or celebration. Oh, uh, if you really need GPU performance, you can just uh, yeah install a separate uh, GPU card into this machine uh, for for other OS. Uh, so currently, if you just run to a celebration uh, of graphics performance, you can down just down the our official official uh, image of system, and you can get uh, a Debian with the GPU uh, separation. Uh, and also, we have a, a, a very detailed guide on our official website. Uh, just uh, msr one dax you can just search it in the GitHub, so you may, may can get this demo here. The, the, so the currently, uh, this demo is, uh, so this, this is a very powerful ARM machine, so uh, it's up to uh, 16, uh, 16, 4 gigabits of total uh, RAM, so uh, so it's much more bigger than the uh, traditional smartphone. So you you can just uh, run a lot of Android into this machine. Currently, uh, or this demo, we just run uh, Android uh, Android here. Uh, just wait this second. So explain how do we have Android here and Debian over on the right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So so wait a second. You you can see here. Uh, yeah. Just let me uh, run some command. So there are two Android uh, container in the Docker. Uh, we just uh, uh, auto put the uh, graphics uh, into the, this screen. You can see here, uh, this is the host machine of, of the, this, uh, just run the Debian system. And you can see the Android here, you can just touch here and just play games separately. And also you can see, uh, we also the second Android and, uh, and separate uh, Type C cable here, and you can also run a lot of Android uh, container. Uh, you can just visit it uh, through the internet, maybe six or seven more uh, Android. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the same time, yeah. Uh, uh, you, yeah, how is that? I know a lot of geeks using the PVE to run a lot of virtual machine, and this is you can you can allow you to run a lot of Android virtual machine in this machine. This to me seems like it's more of a very niche market, right? Yeah. Because people that want to run a bunch of Docker containers, this is perfect for them. Yeah. Now, if somebody that just normally runs Windows all the time, you probably wouldn't want to recommend this system. Yeah. Or is there Windows on ARM? Has uh, that been tested on this? Basically, it's just based on the ARM. So the Windows, uh, uh, the best support of ARM in Windows is just uh, Kotlin. You, you know, yeah, yeah currently. You can run Android in this. Uh, you can run Windows in this machine. Just, just there's no graphics card driver available. Ah, yeah. uh, got you. Yeah. So no acceleration for the graphics. Yeah, yeah, now, yes. in the Debian that you have loaded here, is that from the factory or does it come bare bones and you have uh, to load it? Yeah. yeah uh, if you just buy uh, uh, with the SSD version, it's gonna come from factory. Uh, it's, uh, you can just also download it on our virtual website. And there I have some. A lot of guys uh, from, come from our uh, virtual GitHub. Yeah, I got you. So you just download the ISO, flash it over to a thumb drive, uh, boot yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. Standard install process. Yeah. Now, you have a couple of different GPUs here. What are the makes and models of these? And I'm assuming that they just work out of the box uh, so, with so, your ISO. So this machine just based on the standard UEFI and SAPI. So the PCI slot is also standard. It's just plugging. If, if uh, just Intel graphics card or NVIDIA card, NVIDIA graphics card, they have a uh, open source driver. You can just uh, just, just insert it and uh, install the driver, and boom, it works. Okay, and then how many lanes do we got? Uh, currently, it's just the PCIe 4.0 uh, eight, uh, eight, eight lane, 4.0 H. 4.0 H. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, the, the, this sort is uh, 16, but the signal is 8. 
so they're both just by eight slots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, one more thing I just want to show you. So they have a two gig, 10 gigabits of RJ45 inside this machine. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. What chipsets are used for that? Uh, uh, currently, the chipset's name is CIXP1. CXP1 is, is totally brand new. So I think maybe this is the first uh, world force uh, consumer uh, ARM chip that focus on the standard uh, ACPI and uh, UEFI BIOS. So uh, it just com come from China, uh, a CPU manufacturer, a, a new CPU manufacturer. Uh, but but uh, just, we chose these chips here just because uh, they are just uh, focused on the uh, uh, how, how say general ARM PC. Yeah. I got you. Now with your custom distro here, because it's already optimized for the hardware, yeah. then do you have to go in and tune any buffers or anything for the 10 gig chips, or that's already done? Uh, it's really just, uh, again, yeah, yeah. Uh, question again, yeah. So there's parameters for the network card. Yeah. There's parameters for the chips in here for the network. Yeah. Are, there, are the buffer sizes, so like the send and receive buffer, yeah. stuff like that already pre-optimized? by you guys versus if I loaded another di a Linux distribution. Yeah. So Ubuntu, I, 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 I mean, then I'd have to go in the, and... The, the 10 gigabits of MSA is just a standard PCI chipset, just like an ATX, ATX86, yeah. So it's just standard component, standard AIC chipset, and a standard uh, general CPU, yeah. Or everything is just a, a general. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's full performance, yeah. Full performance. Yes. So if you did iperf between here and another box, yeah, you I get you get. They, they have, just because they have three core and small core, the small core the performance is just so sucks. You you have to just uh, maybe uh, disable small core uh, and make sure you are run iperf uh, in the uh, B core. That uh, yeah, you can. So, yeah, yeah. So for 10 gig over RJ45, technically you need like a 10 meter cable. Yeah. Yes. 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 And I'm very surprised that you know that because most people don't. Know. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, so thank you. Awesome. Yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, is there anything you, yeah, question about this product? Uh, do you know prices off the top of your head? Uh, yeah, you, 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 in fact, you can just check our official website. Currently, we, maybe we just start the uh, 300 bucks uh, or 400 bucks. That's what is the second MSR one. And because this has 12 cores, this will beat up any Raspberry Pi yeah, and not take yes, any launch, any uh, any survivors out of the Raspberry yeah, Pi category. 500 bucks uh, for the 32 gigabits RAM, uh, um, no MMEs, and, and, and 65, 65 gigabits, just one 100 more, uh, six, 600 USD. Hours. Okay. Yeah. Do you know if anybody's loaded up uh, ESXi on that? Uh, like they have uh, on Pi's? Uh, uh, EX, uh, uh, ESXi, yeah. Uh, currently, we have a guy, you can just install your uh, PVE system on this. The EX, ES, uh, EXI is just, uh, how to say that, it's not an open system, so yeah. it's kind of the install on it. Yeah, okay. but PVE is totally possible. Uh, we, we have still, uh, we have a guide how to install PVE in this system. Okay, excellent, I'm, I'm gonna check this out. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited, yeah. cool. All right, so we got 10 gig on board, and then if you don't have a graphics card, does it have, so you do need a graphics card, yeah. right? Okay. Okay, cool, well, excellent. Well, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you. Yeah. All right.